Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the nomenclature for aldehyde only and now we are going to discuss about the nomenclature of ketone. So let us understand that how can we give the common name as well as the IPC name to the ketone. So now let us understand that one. So first of all let us understand that how can we give the common name to the two ketones. For example, if I discussing about that is R C double bond O, that is nothing but ketone. And if both are the same one or the both are the same alkyl group, so therefore the ketones are the one that are being given the common name as dialkyl ketones or dialkyl ketone. But suppose if both the alkyl groups are different, then what we should do? We should assign the name in such a way it should be in an alphabetical order. So let me discuss about the common name first and then we are going to move on with the IUPC nomenclature. So let me discuss about this example. Let us suppose if we have that is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. So now let us focus about the alkyl groups. So the alkyl group that are nothing but a methyl group that are being attached to the carbonyl group that is being present over here. So this is methyl again this is methyl so there are two methyl groups that are being attached to the carbon and carbon atom so that's the reason the name of this one in the terms of that is common name it would be given as dimethyl ketone but what we have this as a organic compound that is ch3 c double bond o ch2 ch3 so in this case this is the methyl group and this is the ethyl group so according to the alphabetical order, obviously E comes first and then M. So therefore, the name of this one would be ethyl methyl keto. So this was all regarding the common name for the nomenclature of keto. So now let us move on to the next one that is IUPAC nomenclature for keto. So this is the main thing that we are going to start that is the IUPAC system of nomenclature for ketones and for that we have to follow certain rules and then only we would be able to give a specific IUPAC nomenclature for a particular organic compound which is nothing but a ketone. So now let us discuss about the important points and the first point is the longest chain containing the carbonyl group is selected the parent chain. So that is the first one. Talking about the next one that is the chain is numbered from the end which is nearer to the carbonyl group. Talking about the third one, the name of the ketone is obtained by replacing the letter E of the alkane by O and E. For example, suppose if it is a propane and in terms of an alkane and we are talking about ketone. So the E of the propane, it would be replaced by O and E, hence the name is propanone. So talking about the other rules, that is we have to follow the alphabetical rule and that's what we have discussed in the previous example also, that is ethyl methyl ketone. And based on that, let me discuss about the few organic compounds and we are going to talk about the common name as well as the IUPC nomenclature of that also. So in that perspective, we could easily clear our doubts as well as we could easily understand that how can we give the IUPC nomenclature to the ketones. So this is the organic compound that we have and we could observe that this carbonyl group have both alkyl groups that are being attached to it. So obviously it is ketone but the both the alkyl groups are nothing but the methyl groups only. So in terms of common name as we have discussed earlier that is the name of this one would be dimethyl ketone. But what would be the IUPC nomenclature? So for that we should count the total number of carbon that are being present in a straight chain and that is one. Two, three. So three carbon atoms that are main present in this organic compound and in terms of an alkane it is known as propane but this is not a propane this is in fact a ketone so that's the reason the name of this is propanone or we could also give the numbering to this one so therefore this is carbon number one this is carbon number two this is carbon number three so therefore the name could be also given as propane or we could give as propanone or we could also give as propane Two own. This two indicates the position of the carbonyl group that is being assigned in a straight chain. And now let us move on to the next one. So this is again an organic compound that we have to give the IUPAC nomenclature as well as the common name for this one. So which groups are being attached to the carbonyl group? And those are ethyl group and methyl group. But we have to give the common name. So in terms of the common name, we could give the common name as ethyl methyl ketone. But talking about the IUPC nomenclature and we have discussed that we should 
give the number to the carbon atom from that and where we could find the carbonyl group is very much near. So that's the reason this is carbon number one, two, three, four. So there are basically four carbon atoms that are being attached in a straight chain. And that's the reason that the name would be known as butane in terms of an alkane. But this is not an alkane, this is in fact a ketone. So therefore, the name is butane. And the position of the carbonyl in the organic compound is basically the carbon number 2. So therefore, the name is butane 2 one was a simple one. And now let us do the next one and that is, so this is the organic compound that we have and we have to give the common name for this one also. So this is the carbonyl group that has been present over here and on either end we could find that this is the ethyl group that starts with E and this is nothing but the isopropyl group. So that iso obviously we don't consider that, we consider the name of the alkyl group and that starts with P that is propyl. So therefore the name of this one could be given as in terms of a common name we could give the name as ethyl isopropyl ketone. And talking about the IUPC nomenclature, obviously we have to select the numbering or we have to give the numbering and then only we could be able to give the IUPC nomenclature. So in both the end we could find that the carbonyl group will have the same number that is suppose if I consider this as carbon number one, this as carbon number two, this will be carbon number three, four and five. What if I, I start the numbering from here that is carbon number one, two, three, four, five. Again this carbonyl carbon gets the third number. But we have to start from that end where we could find branching also. So that's the reason I could give the number from this end. So therefore this is carbon number one, two, three, four, five. And on second position or on the second carbon, obviously a methyl group is attached over here. So therefore the name of this one could be given as 2-methyl. And the total number of carbon in straight chain is basically 5. So 5 carbon in terms of an alkane is known as pentane. But this is not a pentane, this is a ketone. So therefore the name is pentane on the third carbon that is O-N-E or we could say that is a ketone group. So therefore pentane 3 o -N -E. So this is nothing but the IUPC nomenclature for this organic compound. And now let us move on to the next one. So this is the organic compound that we have and let me discuss about the common name for this one. So the common name for this one is basically it has been considered as mesetyl oxide. But we have to give the IUPC nomenclature for this also. So it would be quite difficult unless we segregate this thing. So we can write the structure of this as, as I'm mentioning over here, I'm just clearing this branch so that we could be able to give the nomenclature very easily. So this is what we have and this is basically the carbonyl group that has been attached in the straight chain and this is what the straight chain is and now we have to assign the numbering. But from this end if we number obviously this carbonyl group will get the least number so that's the reason we have to start from here. So therefore this is carbon number one, this is carbon number two, three, four, Five. And on this side, basically, we could find that is the methyl group that is been attached to the fourth carbon atom. So, therefore, the name of this one could be given as 4 methyl. Then, the carbon that are been present in straight chain now is basically 5, and that is nothing but we could call it as pentane. But this is not an alkane, obviously, it consists of double bond, obviously, it could be termed as ene. So, therefore, this one should be named as pent 3 e and the carbonyl group is basically present at carbon number 2. So therefore pent 3 e 2 o So this is the IUPC name for this compound. And now let's move to the next one. So this is what we have and the structure for this is the one which has a common name that is known as acetophenone. So whenever a benzene ring is basically attached to a carbonyl group, that is basically known as phenone and this is what we have and total number of carbon in here is basically 2 so that's the reason the name is acetophenone but what if we have to give the IUPC nomenclature so in this case basically there are two carbons that are being attached in a straight chain so this is carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 and in carbon number 1 we could see that uh, the phenyl group is basically attached to the carbon number 1 so therefore the name of this could be given as 1 phenyl the total number of carbon in this case is 2 so therefore it could be given as ethane and obviously it is a ketone so ethanone simple now let's move to the next one so this is the structure that we have and what would be the common name for this one it's simple 
we can find that the two phenyl groups that are being attached to the carbonyl. So therefore, the common name would be diphenyl ketone. A simple one. But what about the IUPC nomenclature? So there is only one carbon atom that is present over here, and on this one carbon, basically the two phenyl groups that are being attached. So therefore, we could give the name as one comma one diphenyl methanol. And now the last one. So what this compound could be called as in terms of a common name? This term that is benzene attached to CH2 is known as benzyl. And this is nothing but ethane or ethyl group. So therefore the common name of this one could be given as benzyl ethyl ketone. And okay for the IUPC name. So we have to give the numbering. So we'll number it from here. So this is carbon number one, two, three, four. And on carbon number one, we could find a phenyl group that is been attached over here. So therefore, we could give the name as one phenyl. Methane, ethane, propane, butane. Obviously, it, in terms of an alkane, it is known as a butane. But this is not an alkane. This is an ketone. So that's the reason the name of this could be given as butane. On the second position, I could find that is carbon group. So therefore, butane to and that's it. So this is how we can give the common name as well as the IUPC nomenclature to the ketone and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood that how can we give the IUPC nomenclature to the organic compounds having certain molecular formula as well as the structural formula. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. So till then don't forget to watch Ketone channel. Thank you so much.